What's up everyone? This project's a little different this upcoming week. We're down in Hillside, New Jersey at Smiley Lifting Solutions. It's a company that specializes in mini cranes called the Spider Crane, and we're here to rent one. The gentleman Ray is gonna take us inside and show us how to use this thing, and then we're gonna load it up on the trailer and head to Carmel, New York to build an awesome pondless waterfall along the side of a swimming pool. So we're about to load the spider crane onto the trailer. And unfortunately, my ramps here do not go in close enough. So that's Ray there, and Ray had a great idea. He overcome the fact that the machine would not go up the ramps. We're gonna utilize the delivery truck here. He put the crane up on the bed of the truck, and he's gonna tilt the bed down. The plan is that we could drive the crane right onto the trailer. And then I have other ramps at the shop that I could use to unload this. So your lesson for today is, if you're renting a piece of equipment, make sure you can get it onto the trailer. So you got your key to start it. This is your choke, and this is your throttle. If it's cold, you might need to use a choke. Pull. Cool. This is your throttle for when you're in, when you're in uh, travel mode. Right now it's in travel mode. So if you want to move it, it's just a track system. So you want to go back, you push the ball back. Yeah. Go forward, go forward. You want to turn it. Perfect. You want horn right here? You need it. When you want to go into crane mode, all you gotta do is just little, this little tab right here, just pull that up, the stand will drop, the crane will tell you, it's gonna have that really loud button right here. So that little switch, you're gonna flick it up. This light's gonna come on. The crane will usually say, you know, remote mode or whatever. Turn on the remote. You can check if it's on and it's connected. The horn should sound. Everything's labeled. So this is for your rotation. This is to extend and retract the telescope. This is for the winch up and down. And that's for the boom up and down. But everything you do, let's say you wanna go boom up, winch down, just pull the trigger. That's all it is. So whatever you wanna do, you wanna extend? Okay, cool, extend, pull the trigger. You wanna retract? track pull the trigger thanks for all your help today ray okay, no problem so we're at a new project here in carmel new york where the homeowner tried to build his own pondless waterfall and once again garden state koi install team is to the rescue here to make this thing look absolutely amazing with that upper deck area the backyard bar pool and slide this place is an awesome awesome backyard to have parties and the only thing it is missing is that waterfall and we're excited to be the team here to make their backyard waterfall dreams come true. So this is the before of the pondless waterfall. Jay worked very hard to get the things prepped and ready to go. But one of the things that we needed for this project that's different than others is a small mini crane so we could set boulders on this hillside. I can't wait to see what this turns out because the rest of the landscaping in this backyard is really, really cool. Once again, this is gonna be the perfect addition to this little paradise in Carmel, New York. We're starting this project off in a little different position than I am under the trailer. Strapping down the ramps from the dump trailer that Enrique uses, and we're strapping them down so we have a better, skinnier ramp to bring down the crane. The spider crane is only 24 inches wide, and the ramps on the trailer, that one there, and that one over there, does not go together close enough, so we had to improvise. Utilizing the ramps from our dump trailer and some ratchet straps, we were able to make ramps that were secure enough to be able to back the machine off at the job site. We'll need to use these as well to load up. So this project you see here is in Carmel, New York, and we're starting off by draining the existing basin and pulling out all this liner. The reason for that is we didn't put it in and we don't want no problems down the line. The new basin will go in utilizing the Aquascape Pondless system, double layers of fabric, and then we'll be putting a new liner up the hillside. One spillway is gonna be up in there and then there's gonna be another spillway over here. But one thing that's different about this project project is our access and to get a big enough machine in here is utterly impossible so that's why we have what's called a spider crane it is on tracks 24 inches wide it has a larger footprint when all the stabilization arms are out and we're going to be setting it up right here where you see all this patio furniture so besides draining the basin we're going to be also removing all this furniture putting it over on the other side of the patio and working on getting our workspace organized today we'll also be pulling out that old basin putting a new basin in and that's our goal for today is to have the basin back in there and make sure everything was properly done so after we build that waterfall we don't have any problems so i didn't even pay attention to this but ralphie was telling me that the liner is different than what we normally use that is another reason why we're going to be replacing all this liner and redoing this basin we do not know what the undercarriage is or the waterfall and that is super important to make sure it's to the specs of garden state koi before we start putting boulders all over this hillside hey ralphie how'd you notice the liner was different uh, it's too shiny for to me not like power stone liner yeah i can't even really explain it it's kind of a liner and a fabric together it's like a fabric and liner together 
I don't know. But all I know is that we're taking it out of here and this is gonna look awesome. Most of the weeds are taken out from around the outside of the waterfall. Now it's time to take apart that basin. Once we get that apart, we'll determine if we can add any more block and what needs to be done so it's structurally sound and ready to go tomorrow. We already brought some sand with us so that way we can level that bottom out and get it perfect and a nice cushion for those aqua blocks. And we also have the fabric and liner needed to put it back together. Let's see how far we get today because tomorrow morning rocks are showing up super early and we'll be ready to start setting some waterfalls with the spider crane. We got the crane in place sitting along the side of the pool. We might need to move it up a little bit, reposition it here or there, but it's in the backyard, which is a good thing, and it fits. Raphael got this whole entire basin dug out and ready to go. Before that liner goes in, it's always good to double check everything and make sure it fits. So we'll put the blocks back in the hole real quick and then remove everything. Then we'll put that fabric liner and that piece of fabric in there. We want to make sure everything fits. You can see the hole is extra dug, a little big, over dug, which is on purpose. It's a lot easier when you go to put everything everything back in the hole. After that's all in there later on, we'll surround everything with either cobblestone or gravel. So now all the block are in place, all six large aqua block, we're ready to go. The basin is in this morning, we got that in there and I got the remote control here for the crane. We got our first rock strap. Once again, this is another slow process, coming through that gate along the patio here and trying to be as safe as possible. A lot of moving parts and a lot of things that can go wrong. So safety is the number one key. Felipe's out there with the MT100, bringing in rock and myself, Rafael, Alessio and Carlos are in here starting to set rock on this hillside. It's a little slow getting used to the controls, but once you start getting the hang of it, it's really not too bad. It's just a different way to set an object into a waterfall. Ralphie's doing a great job with the remote control right now. Ralphie, what do you think of this machine? Okay, there you go. So the first rock is almost in place. We just need to backfill with a little bit of gravel. Raphael's bringing in some three quarter inch bag gravel. Once again, we're using bag gravel on this project due to the fact of the convenience. That level right there is sitting perfectly level. We're gonna be putting a splitting boulder here to split the water up a little bit. And then I got another nice frame boulder over there where we can squeeze some water through. We're gonna try to fill this hillside up with as much water as possible using only two pumps. The crazy thing about this crane, it actually has sensors that if it starts tilting too much, much it'll just shut off so you cannot flip the machine this is the third boulder going in this morning moving along pretty nicely so this is a pretty fun toy the spider crane ralphie's doing a great job maneuvering around with the remote control you can also operate it from the machine over there but one of the coolest rentals we've ever had here at garden state Wood. I already checked it out and Raphael and my teammates did an amazing job getting everything prepped today. So we could probably finish the waterfall and then tomorrow, a little bit of finishing touches. This is gonna be an amazing poolside waterfall and it is coming out awesome. But right now, before I get started, I gotta pick out some boulders that we have left in the pile. Not many rocks left, but we got some nice ones like that. Perfectly flat one, that one right there which is nice and flat. So I'm sure that'll be a spillway rock and a couple others, and we'll be at the top of the hill. So the spider crane has been working out great and Raphael's here controlling it along the way. And we're setting one of our last boulders, maybe a couple of smaller ones, but this is definitely one of the last big ones. And this is gonna actually sit outside to retain the earth from this right side of the waterfall. It is also gonna act as a character boulder. It's really important when you're building a water feature to dot boulders on the outside throughout the landscape. Like we've done over there, even place one under the deck or that one up in the far corner. By doing that, that spreads out your rock work and makes the landscape look a lot more even and balanced. One, two, three.
Hey everyone, check out how amazing this pondless waterfall came out. It was fun working for the first time in the backyard along the side of the pool with the spider crane. That thing is so awesome. I love bringing it into tight situations and being able to build amazing waterfalls like that. If I had to say anything was the favorite part of this job, it was using that machine and I didn't even really use it. You'd have to talk to Raphael. He ran it most of the time. It was great to get him used to a new machine. Thanks for watching the video this week. Tune in next week for another video on our Garden State Koi channel. And don't forget, if you like our videos, to press that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team here at Garden State Koi. Once again, thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another awesome video. But we got some nice ones like that. Perfectly flat one. Oops. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. So that perfectly flat one, not that one, not that one, but that one, nope, that one right there.